odd socks. Welcome to the BBC. I'm Helen, your runner. And I'm a huge fan. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Helen. It's my job to make sure you get to the right place and nothing goes wrong. What could possibly go wrong? Yes, Malcolm? <laughs> we'll get to the radio studio right now. Sorry, it's my boss, Malcolm. He's in my ear. You must be tiny. It's actually my first day, so I'm still working all this out. Have you worked out where the food is yet? Um, we'll get a BBC map and take a look. See you through there, OK? Whoa, 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 Not so fast. Show us your passes. Odd Leisure Centre pass? BBC Security Pass. Don't try and be funny with me. I've not laughed since 2003. Oh. I'll go get your passes then. Oh, and you lot stay here and don't touch anything. Well, I'm really hungry, so this is definitely an emergency. Wait, no! Oh. Ooh, our passes. You pushed the shutdown button, which means people can't get in and out. Oh, no. Malcolm says none of the BBC presenters can get in the building. Oh, it's Hacker and Dodge. Oh. <laughs> uh, guys? Oh, oh. oh right, yeah. Hi, I'm Mac. Technical support. Have you tried turning the building off and on again? What? <gasps> With everyone locked out, there's no one to present any TV or radio shows. Which means you lot will never work at the BBC ever again. Oh. Yeah, I've got those responsible here. Tall, handsome bloke. Big air. Impressive nostrils. I'll be out the door for sure. We'll keep the BBC on air until it's opened again. Right, Odd Socks? Yeah! yeah! Thanks! I have been known to present quite a few shows on the BBC. The first show to save is Zoe Ball's Breakfast Show. Let's go. Any news on the food? Are oh, you luck? Get back here now! 